the life I went through, it was really terrible. There were names they would use to address me. Abit, Abit. That means slave. If you escape, you'd be amputated. And I have seen it from other people. The way they would beat me, the way they would hit me was unbearable. It became apparent to me that if I didn't have to escape, I would always end up here. And these people are bound to kill me. I even forgot what my name was. I've all, the only way to introduce myself was I was the slave of so-and-so. My life history started like this. When we escaped from Sudan to Uganda, we lived in Kitugum refugee camp. We had had the rebel group, the Lord's Resistance Army, came and attacked different refugee camps. One evening they came. The rebels decided to kill us. So they started selecting people to kill and my mom was one of them. They started beating her head with an axe. My mother died at that moment. The boy came at me with a machete and he cut me on my face, my forearm and my breast. I pretended to be dead. I saw the rebels go after my sister. They beat her so badly that her head cracked into pieces. My sister had been carrying her two little girls. I must have fainted at some point. I woke up and everything was quiet except I could hear children crying. I took Amato Joyce's hand and slowly we started to make our way through all the dead people. In 1988, most of the people were starving. The famine was so, so bad, and there was loads of hunger. People were dying of hunger. There were so many people dead on the way. By that time, my mom was pregnant. So when we were about to, to reach to Ethiopia, my mom was really in agony, crying. We were just hold, looking at her, helpless. There's no way we can help her. And then there, my, my mom delivered with the help of my dad. The following morning, we took off. My mom has to continue moving. My, my dad became so weak, he can't move again. could have taken my photo by then and I look at it by now, you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. I was so thin, the whole body is dry up. The suffering I have seen encouraged me most to pursue my studies. <laughs> 